My dear brother, you know that I came to the South and threw myself into work for a thousand reasons. To want to see another light, to believe that looking at nature under a brighter sky can give us a more accurate idea of the Japanese way of feeling and drawing, wanting finally to see the stronger sun. The Vibrations of the World Here Vincent travelled, motionless. He ventured between the rocks in the open nature, into the vast landscape and the blue sky. He remembered colours, forms, Japanism, ground scenes, movement, wind, lighting, flight. It's time to give place for a secret conversation between the world to the canvas for a strange music between the Alpi and the grounds, between the brushes of a painter and accurate description of Vincent's letters. Yesterday I started working a little a thing I see from my window, a field of yellow stubble which is being ploughed, strips of yellow stubble, background of hills. The cypresses still preoccupy me. I'd like to do something with them, like the canvases of sunflowers, because it astonishes me that no one has yet done them as I see them. It's beautiful as regards the lines and proportions, like an Egyptian obelisk. And the green has such a distinguished quality. It's the dark patch in a sun-drenched landscape, but it's one of the most interesting dark notes the most difficult to hit off exactly that I can imagine. Now they must be seen against the blue, in the blue. The trees in it are very tall and massive. The foreground above all is thickly impacted tufts of bramble. The olive trees are very characteristic and I'm struggling to catch them. It's silver, sometimes blue, sometimes greenish, bronzed, whitening on ground that is yellow, pink, purplish or orangish to dull red ochre, but very difficult, very difficult. But that suits me and attracts me to work fully in gold or silver, and one day perhaps I'll do a personal impression of it, the way the sunflowers are for yellows. So at present I am working in the olive trees, seeking the different effects of a grey sky against a yellow earth with dark green notes of the foliage. Another time the earth and foliage all purplish against a yellow sky, then a red ochre earth and a pink and green sky. See, that interests me more than the so-called abstractions.
Me, I quite like the entrance to a quarry because to my taste the dark greens go well with the ochre tones. There's something sad in them that's healthy. That's perhaps also the same with the mountain. People will tell me that mountains aren't like that and that there are black contours as wide as fingers. I am working on a large canvas of a ravine. It's a subject just like the study with a yellow tree that I still have from you. Two bases of extremely solid rocks, between which a trickle of water flows, a third mountain that closes off the ravine. These motives certainly have a beautiful melancholy, and it's enjoyable to work in really wild sites where you have to bury your easel in the stones so that the wind doesn't send everything flying to the ground. I am trying to simplify the list of colours as much as possible. Thus I very often use the ochres as in the old days. My dear brother, you know I feel I'm in Japan. I hope to make some of these sketches after the painted studies for you too. You'll see that it has a certain Japanese look. I would like you to spend some time here. You'd feel it. After some time your vision changes. You see with a more Japanese eye. You feel colours differently. This country seems to me as beautiful as Japan for the clearness of the atmosphere and the gay colour effects. Isn't it almost a new religion that these Japanese teach us, who are so simple and live in nature as if they themselves were flowers? I'm working on a canvas of roses on a bright green background and two canvases of large bouquets of violet irises, one lot against a pink background in which the effect is harmonious and soft through the combination of greens, pinks, violets. On the contrary, the other violet bouquet ranging up to pure carmine and Prussian blue, standing out against a striking lemon yellow background with other yellow tones in the vase and the base on which it rests, has an effect of terribly disparate complementary that reinforce each other by their opposition. I must do more figure work. It's the study of the figure that teaches one to grasp the essential and to simplify. You'll be surprised what effect the work of fields take on in colour. Many things in the landscape here often recall Wuzdal, 
but the figure of the ploughman is lacking. In our country one sees men, women, children, animals at work everywhere and at all times of the year, and here not a third of that. Let us not forget that the small emotions are the big captains of our lives, and in that we obey without knowing it. So in my own estimation, I definitely put myself below the peasants. Anyway, I plough on my canvases as they do in their fields. The days are all the same. As for ideas, I have no others except to think that a wheat field or a cypress are well worth the effort of looking at them close at hand. The hills here are very beautiful and because of the clarity of air one can see from the heights so much further than at home. The olive trees with white cloud and background of mountains, as well as the moonrise and the night effect, are exaggerations from the point of view of the arrangement. Their lines are contorted like those of the ancient woodcuts. Phew! The reaper is finished. It's an image of death as the great book of nature speaks to us about it. But what I sought is in the almost smiling. It's all yellow except for a line of violet hills, a pale blonde yellow. To want to see another light, to believe that looking at nature under a brighter sky can give us a more accurate idea of the Japanese way of feeling and drawing, wanting, finally, to see the stronger sun. Anyway, it's difficult to leave a land before having something to prove that one has felt and loved. This morning, after I'd been to have my trunk stamped, I saw the countryside again, fresh after the rain and covered in flowers. How many more things I would have done. He made, under the representation, rise an air, and in her lock an air, which are not in the nature, which are of a nature, and an air more true than air, and the nerve of the true nature. Antonin Artaud the committed suicide of the society.